Hey guys, it's Adam here. Um, big a bit of a day. I'm like resting here with my sarsaparilla. So turn it upside down and open it. Yes, I don't drink. <laughs> I just drink soft drinks. <laughs> oh, what a day, what a day. Um, yeah, I, I did film something, but it was only like 35 seconds, and I just couldn't be bothered to upload it. It's on this camera. It's going to wait until next week. Um, no, tomorrow will be the last time you'll see a blog, and I think today's the 100th blog. <laughs> um... After tomorrow, there'll be no blogs until Tuesday, and there'll be probably four blogs in a row put up that day. Uh, I've, I'm have i just flat tack with the Brisbane Model Show coming this weekend, but enough of that. <laughs> Get on talking what happened today. Now, I, I would have filmed a lot more. I do have some film for today. I'm going to leave that until next week to put it on those four blogs. So I'm still going to I'm still going to do my blogs. It's just that it's going to uh, be held off until next week because I'm going to be too busy going back and forth. Basically, when I get home on the weekend, I'll be going straight to bed because I'll be waking up real early again to go back to Brisbane um, to the Brisbane Model Train Show. So that's going to be fun, like a yo-yo. <laughs> But today Saturday, a little bit, a little bit hectic. I I woke up this morning and looked at the time. And went, oh my god, I was supposed to be out of here in ten minutes. And I went, ah, stuff it. I'm getting the cab. So jumped in, had a shower, do do do. Got ready, grabbed everything I had packed yesterday. Got it downstairs. Went, okay, got everything. Yep, yep, yep. Ring up the cab. Shot off. Um, got the high school boat. Over, ended up Vicky Point a little bit early. Um, I went over because I wanted to pick up a new memory card. And, oh, what was that thing? Oh, I had to get money out because I didn't have money on me. So, get over uh, over Vicky Point, Victoria Point Shopping Centre. And um, it was getting close to time. I had to get the bus at 9.45 to get me at my friend's place where... We, um, we're going to be filming for um, one part of this segment on the Great South East. So, um, you might see a bit of me on. Um, it's was it July third? It will be on on the Sunday at five o'clock. I think five o'clock or five thirty. I'm not sure. Um, check the times. Channel seven. Um, enough of that. <laughs> a little bit shameless plug there. Uh, got on the bus. And the bus was running late. Naturally, it would be running late because of the Bay Islands. And I got on the bus, and like everyone's getting on, we're just getting ready to take off. And this lady at the back, my father just collapsed. And um, I looked up, and I, I went, "Oh, see if anyone else gets up first, because um, I, I really don't like getting involved." And Sitting there, no one's helping this gentleman who's like collapsed over. His head had hit the, um, uh, was it like the glass and um, the metal frame of the um, door area. Um, so he was sitting in the seat behind the back door. So the next seat past the back door, and he collapsed forward. And I jumped up and I, I walked up and I looked at him. And he wasn't breathing, so. I, lifted his body up to hold him up to see what was wrong and I could see his tongue had um, gone back it was like oh I can't I can't re reproduce it but it was back in his throat and he was struggling to breathe and he, he was out he was out cold so I, 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 I just said can someone come and help me um, lift this guy up because he's legs were latched underneath the seat and we, I just couldn't lift him to get him back up in the seat and I went, we go get out, get him out of here and put him on the floor and try and get him breathing again. As soon as we got his legs out and, and basically got him, his head back a bit, his tongue must have slightly went forward and he suddenly woke up and we're like lifting him back up into the seat properly because his feet were wedged right under so he couldn't sit 
properly um, even if we did try to lift up because his knees had locked up. So we finally got him up and I'm going, you alright mate? And he go, oh I'm alright, I'm alright. And go, mate, you, 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 you've had a major clap collapse and hit your head on the front you'll probably have a little bit of concussion um, where the bus driver's just rung you an ambulance and all that and I helped him off the bus me and three other guys we were helping him off the bat I held on to his back to make sure he didn't fall backwards I had two and well actually not three guys uh, two guys no one guy me and his daughter and we were helping him off the bus and um, the bus driver had rung up, the ambulance was on its way, but um, the bus couldn't afford to wait. But she said, yeah, no, he's all right for now. Let the bus go. So the bus driver went out, he did all the paperwork, because he had to do all this paperwork um, when he got back to the depot. Got them the right, um, all the numbers and all that, so that it can be all confirmed if something happens, the company is covered. So. Finally we left, I ended up, I think it was 20 minutes late, um, getting to where I was, but luckily they hadn't set up the filming, so, whoa, listen to that rain, <laughs> so yeah, no, got to my friend's place and um, we were filming there, um, oh, I wasn't filming, they were filming there for Great Southeast, and that was cool, I actually got to meet, um, I forgot what his name is, I'll look it up and I'll, 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 I'll make sure I say it next week on on the blog, but um, it's one of the male presenters and oh, not and it's not the, AF, the AFL freak one who likes AFL, um, it's the older one, he has a, a moustache I think, um, I met him, he was really nice and and the, the production crew who was with him were like brilliant so whoa that rain is getting heavy so yeah no we finished filming there and then we grabbed uh, we all jumped in the cars and went through the bricks and from we filmed there and these little hand well, might be this one this hand might be on the show he, they got me picking up some lego bricks and I might be in the background walking around the shop, so... <sighs> That's if it gets used, so... But, you know, the, it, it was a, a, a fun day, so... Um, didn't get anything done in building, like, all those models are left there. Uh, they're not finished, the Lego's there, so I'll finish it on Friday and Saturday morning. I've got someone picking me up Saturday and Sunday. I just go figure out how to um, get them back on um, Monday, so... Well, that's today's vlog. It's getting a little bit late, and this rain's getting a little bit loud, guys. So, sorry if I sound a little bit loud right now in your ear. Until tomorrow, guys, you stay safe. And I'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. The day after, there will be no vlog until Tuesday, but there will be make... I'll make up for vlogs next week to um, make it worthwhile. Until tomorrow guys, you have a great night and I should stop looking at myself. Bye!